Welcome to another episode of Coffee with Closers, where we interview a top performing BDM in the property management space and learn how they are growing their business. Hey, everybody. I am so excited to introduce you to Natalie Janeo, the business development manager at Veranda Properties. She has actually just completed her 90 day onboarding process. Awesome. Thank you, Drea, for having me. And hello, everyone. <laughs> Natalie, how did you even hear about Veranda in the first place? So funny story. Uh, when I was still back in college, a long, long time ago, believe it or not, um, Veranda was actually one of my clients at a, they actually rented office space from us. So I was their client service coordinator. I would handle a lot of their company meetings. And that's where I first met the ladies of Veranda. I mean, one look at Natalie and her personality and that beautiful smile and everybody's like, yeah, we want Natalie. <laughs> so, but <Well>. from, <laughs> you can't blame them. Uh, were you doing sales prior to working with RentScale, Natalie? And if so, how would you compare that to how you're doing now? Well, I was to a certain extent. Um, I actually, I've been in property management for probably since 2012 but it was more so multifamily and apartment housing. Um, so a lot of the sales, to be honest, there was really nothing that I had to manually go out there and do for the most part. A lot of leads just came into us or you know, we'd get a lot of drive-by traffic. In switching over to single family, it was kind of, it was hard for me to switch that, flip that switch in my brain from, hey, you know, we're gonna get Zillow and apartments.com to send you leads to, hey, now you have to go find them. <laughs> so <laughs> having rent, I was, compl I was so nervous when I first started, cause I'm like, I mean, I, I can literally talk to a fly if you let me, I talk to anybody, but at the same time, I was so nervous. I'm like, what if nobody likes me? No one wants to close with me, like what's going on? So it was, it was still a new experience coming over to this side. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. I have heard so many other analogies when it comes to that, but the fly, the fly is so great. <laughs> like, They're just always around. They just want to say something. So just talk to them. It's fine. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. So, okay, great. Now, what would you say that your top three highest converting lead sources are now and why? I would say, um, and this may very well just be, I, I'm a people person, like I much rather get in front of your face and talk to you and have coffee and whatever. <laughs> My top three actually right now, I have two really good realtors who uh, we've partnered with. I've actually nurtured the relationship since I've gotten here mm -hmm. um, that send pretty consistent leads to us. Um, so one's a broker, one's a realtor, and then the third one, we actually just recently joined our, our local chamber of commerce. Ooh. So going out to those meetings have helped a lot. Like they refer a lot of clients over to us. That's awesome. That's, uh, again, you know, like granted, I've been in different types of sales roles, but I'm always, I am personally always looking to how can we get referrals, you know, from people? What different avenues can we go through to do this? And it, it sure makes your job a lot easier, especially if you can nurture those relationships and you put in that time. The other thing is, Natalie, I know you love talking about it, but talk to me about your YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> I know that Kristen is just super proud of you. That is something really hard for especially business, de business development managers all across the nation. That's really hard to get out there and put yourself out there. Oh, it's very hard. <laughs> it's very hard. And sometimes you have your days where you're like, what am I doing? A <laughs> um, couple of things that actually contributed to that. One of them was um, in our line of work and actually in a lot of sales, it doesn't matter what industry you're in you get a lot of the same questions over and over and over again. So initially I wanted to create some type of either series, email campaign. I didn't know at first what I wanted to do. There are just basic questions that people have when they're looking for property managers. You know, why do you charge this? What's the leasing cycle? Why do I have to, you know, everything that you answer on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm like, how can I do this? So I mixed that a little bit with um, the way that I network and in person. And I think nowadays, especially with 
COVID and all that good stuff, people don't, they're not really fast to jump at going to meet you in person anymore. So I'm like, all right, I'd have to get face to face somehow. I'm going on YouTube. So I did my first video and I, it's very cringe worthy. So I have Tea Time with Nat. It is a series and a new video comes out every Monday. So we post it on all of our social media and then of course YouTube as well. I love that beyond like words can even explain. Um, so in it initially it was more for an educational piece rather than marketing, but heck might as well use it for marketing too. And yeah, it is a great way to be face to face. And especially in this day and age, I mean, we all have heard about it now, bomb, bomb videos, you know, anything like that. I mean, a huge plug to them, right? Right. <laughs> but, <laughs> right? Um, but being able to somewhat grasp that human aspect in some way, shape or form, it's so incredibly important and it will be from here on out. Uh, and so I'm super proud of you personally for doing that because I, I personally know how hard that is. If somebody came up to you and said, what is Rent Scale? What is Scale Club? Why is that? Why, why would that even interest me or should? What's something you would give them as a nugget? Oh my gosh, I would say they are literally my foundation, my backbone. Uh, they're the ones behind me when I'm like, I have no idea what I'm saying. They're like, yes, you do. Yes, you do. So I think my biggest thing about Rent Scale, like I said earlier, the tools are there. They're going to give that to you. You can read scripts all day but you don't realize being in this industry or in sales in general, you need the support as well. So mm -hmm. my biggest thing is the support um, that you guys provide whenever I feel like I'm burnt out and I just don't know what's going on. You know, Kristen's the first one to say, okay, what are your sucks? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about them. And sometimes usually just having someone to talk to who knows the industry, knows, has been through all of these ups and downs um, is really important and it helps you not get burned out as easily. So um, if you're absolutely looking for the support in a sales role, because a lot of times it's just you, you're out there, you've got to do it. Um, rent skill is, is the, the place to go. All right. So super proud of you, Natalie. I really appreciate you being here today and just having, having coffee with me because we're, we're only willing to have coffee with closers. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Go find her YouTube channel. See what she's doing today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. We'll talk to you all later. So a huge shout out to Natalie and that beautiful spirit of hers. As you can tell, she has the energy and the enthusiasm that every salesperson is looking for, and it just oozes out of Natalie. And if you go watch her YouTube channel, the video, you guys, she is doing it. And that is incredibly hard. Uh, we all know it. It's not comfortable. It's not easy. It's a lot of takes and a lot of edits. <laughs> but it's, the other thing to take away from this, or the other two things, is networking and referrals. One great referral source can be huge, a huge game changer. And don't forget the Chamber of Commerce. It is so fundamental, but someone has to be the property management of choice in your town. So I really hope you enjoyed Coffee with Closers with us today. Stay tuned for the next one, and we will see you then.